everybody. Welcome back to the channel. So I've been gone a couple days. I've been struggling with a few things. I've got some new stuff coming up that I've been working on that I'm going to release to you guys soon. So hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of it. But I captured a live trade today. I want to jump into that with you and show you the ins and outs, what happened. Today was a red day, unfortunately. It happens. We got the pop, got the drop on this one, and then it just reversed. And the thing that was really sad about this trade this morning on AMD was that it looked beautiful. It was setting up so nicely, and then it just reversed on me and moved back to the upside, stopped me out, and then dropped perfectly. So a tough morning to lose and give back 1R, but we limited it at 1R. That's what we do. So we always win bigger than we lose. Let's jump into this and, uh, and check it out. So I'm going to hit play here. So what you're going to see right away is... I had that first 15 minute candle and you all know I like to eye that thing. I look to look, like to look at the high and the low. And in this case, I was gonna take this short below that low, about 10 cents below the low. And things opened up, share started to climb, volume looked pretty good. And then we broke down pretty violently to start off. And then I got another laggy fill. And I'm gonna get into that more in another video. Um, I've been struggling with TD Ameritrade and Thinkorswim. Um, the fills have just been terrible over the past three to four trading days and really beyond that. It's just been like a once a week thing where I have to call in and get an issue resolved. So I'm going to tell you what I'm up to. I've got a lot of stuff in the works right now. That's why I was gone on Friday and Monday. And um, I think it's going to be pretty exciting and I think you're going to like what I have to say and show you. So just kind of hang tight with me. But with this trade, you can see right here, I'm already just feeling weird because 300 shares came in, then 785 shares come in, and then it's just, you know, I'm still not even full yet right here. Um, and I'm just slowly trying to wait to get filled. Um, we're up right now in the partial position by $88. And we start to push down, and then right there, we're full. So we're full, took... Um, Took a decent amount of time to get to get full, but we're full up about a hundred bucks. And this thing starts to push down. And you can see we've got some possible resistant zones over here. We're also gonna hit the whole dollar at 93 bucks. I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna edit my order, my stop loss, because I wanna move it down to 2R once I see 2.5R on the PL. And you can see now we're up about 250, 280. It pushes down ultimately to be up about 340, and we were looking pretty good. I need to see 750 on the PL in order to move that, that stop loss. So I'm just waiting on it, waiting on it, waiting on it, but we're hitting that whole dollar. It kind of got hung up and ultimately just kind of bounced away from it and then just reversed. It tested that level, and the unfortunate thing was, and I'll show you on the candle action here in a minute, that it was a really wild wick that got me. But right there, you can see, stopped out 1,200 shares at 93.46. I had a 25 cent stop in place. That's kind of standardly what I use based on my back test data of a few hundred trades. So today we lost one R. It's okay, it's Christmas. I know, you know, volume can be a little weird the week of Christmas, especially getting closer to Thursday. So we just kind of take it in stride. Um, I think that AMD still has a lot of potential, and I wanna flip over to the charts. I just wanna show you on AMD, if I go to the 15 minute chart, the thing that keeps me excited here is, yes, this didn't work, it backtracked on me. If I show you the one minute chart, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So it opened up, I got triggered, we went short, and then look at this big wick, just came all the way back up, took me out, and then reverse back down. And I know this is nothing new for any of you. We've all been wicked out and then it moves in our favor. It just happens, it's part of the game. They're, your, your broker's not hunting you, it's just it just happens. So if I go back to the 15 minute chart, you can see in here that, let me get back to where I was, that if I come back here, it was a beautiful drop and it ultimately ended up going a decent amount. I think this would have been a four, possibly five hour day, but we got wicked out and it didn't quite work. But if I rewind to yesterday, Monday, check this out. 
This was a, I had a major fill issue, major issues with TD yesterday, so I'm not going to get into that right now. I might make a video on that in the future, but one thing I wanted to show you from this trade or from this trading day was the step-by-step, -step, bar by bar potential that was here. Now, I got stopped out on this trade, but look what happened. It dropped, then it hung around, dropped, this one closed, so I would move my stop loss to the high of this candle. Then when this one closed, I would move to the high of that candle. Then when this one closes, I'd move to the high of that candle. Then this one closed, I'd move to the high of that candle. And then depending on your rules, if I'm beyond a certain number of R values, like I would have been down here, I give myself authority to just take the trade off. If I'm ever in excess of 5R, I give myself the liberty to just take it off. And so I probably would have taken it off somewhere on this candle. Then this one came in and would have stopped me out if I would have left my order, my stop right above that candle. But this was a gorgeous day and I did a calculation on it. If it would have been, like if it would have behaved a little better and been a little more smooth, it would have been a little over uh, 11 R's on the day, which which is an amazing, amazing day. So that one was frustrating on Monday, but it's part of the game. And then today took a one R loser. So right now I am down two R on the week. Uh, my R value is 300 bucks. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. I'm hoping we can get more action in AMD, but maybe a little smoother action. We'll see what happens on it. And also this morning, it was kind of strange. One thing I didn't like was the pre-market action was just blah. There was nothing happening in here. The day before, you can see we had some activity. It was actually looking good. But this morning, it was just, I mean, AMD typically later in the morning, they won't put in these dashes as often. Like if you come back here, I mean, there are no dashes in here. And the dashes just mean nothing happened. It just basically opened and then closed at almost the same price. If I look at the range on this, it's zero. Yeah, dashes are, are no range. So kind of strange pre-market action, but anyway, I always take the last 15 minute candle, make my decisions, and it could have worked. It just wicked me out and got me. So that's the trade recap for today. I wanna hear about your trades. I wanna know if you were green, if you were red, what your plan is for the rest of this week. And if you got value from the video, I'd love to have you subscribe. Hit that like button if you learned anything from the video or if you just appreciate seeing, seeing trades. Um, we'll be back at it again tomorrow. Again, I apologize for being gone the last couple days. I've got some great stuff coming. I'm excited to show it to you. We'll see you next time.